you guys keep pushing me to create After Effects tutorials. And I love it. Every video editor should master After Effects if you want to double your quality. That's why I created this super cool effect. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. First, you're gonna need some type of beam or maybe a wooden plank. In my case, I'm using a grill that usually lays on top of a radiator. It has these holes that you can see through and that makes the effect super awesome. Then find a green screen or a green cloth. Lay it down on the ground and then put your grill on it. You can always tighten the green screen to get rid of wrinkles by adding some weight to it or just by using some tape. What will really help in post is if you add tracking markers. This can also be tape or something. Just make sure it's in high contrast with the green. And that was actually my mistake. I used gray tape, but I should have used black tape or something that has more texture. That will make the tracking process much easier. Next, film yourself walking over the grill. And that's it for filming. Once you have your footage, put it in After Effects. You can actually click and drag your video on the composition button and that will create a new composition with the exact resolution and FPS as your video. Now with that clip selected, go to the tracker panel. If you don't see it, go to the window menu on top and find tracker. That should pop it open. Next, click on track camera. I suggest you set the solve method to mostly flat because it's a flat surface that we're tracking, of course. But if this doesn't work, switch it back to auto detect. You can also enable detailed analysis. And now all you have to do is wait until the tracking is done. Now you can see these track points on your video. And when you hover your cursor over them, you can see these target points. These can, of course, also be increased or decreased in size if you want. Next, find a spot somewhere on the ground. I had to track this several times. So guys, again, please use black tape or just put something on your green screen that has texture. Also, make sure it's not connected to your body or other moving objects in your video. Then right click and choose create solid and camera. That way you can check if your camera is tracked perfectly. Do that by looking at the solid and see if it sticks to the ground. But now it's time to remove the greens. To do that, find the key light effect in the effects library. Then click and drag it on your clip. In the effect controls, click the color selector next to the screen color. Then in the composition panel, hold down control. As you can see, this will make the color picker bigger, which means it will select a wider range of the color you're about to select. Then of course, click on your green screen and boom, the greens are gone. Now definitely play around with the screen gain and the screen balance. If you want to have an in-depth key light video on this channel, let me know down below. Next, add a picture or video of a top view city underneath your clips. Make sure to enable the 3D controls. This will give you an X, Y, and Z axis. We're gonna need them in a second. Now expand the properties of the solid layer and select the transform controls. Then hit Ctrl C to copy them. Now select the city clip and hit Ctrl V to paste them. You can now hide the solid by the way, you don't need that anymore. Adjust the position to somewhere in the middle and then use the Z axis to scale down the video a lot. Then go to the scale property and scale it all the way back up. This will create this subtle parallax effect. All right, now it's time for the details and that's what's really gonna sell this effect. But before I do, I want to tell you guys another secret. Storyblocks, the plugin for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Every video editor needs a stock library and this is the one I use. On Storyblocks, you'll get unlimited downloads of diverse and high quality media for one predictable subscription cost. Everything you need in one place. 4K and HD video, templates, music and sound effects, unlimited downloads, all without leaving Premiere or After Effects. After clicking the download button, your file will appear right here in the project panel. You can choose a monthly or annual plan with no hidden fees. Storyblocks, thank you so much for making my videos better and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now, on other stock libraries, half of the videos are AI generated nowadays. That's cool, but it loses authenticity. Now, on Storyblocks, you'll find real artist created stock media, which is irreplaceable for creating genuine connections with your audience. Generative AI is really cool and useful, but it can't replace footage that captures the genuine human experience with stories and emotions. That's why for stock media, I will always use Storyblocks to enhance the story I'm telling. Now, to make it even easier for you guys, Storyblocks Blocks created restock collections to celebrate authentic stock content created by real artists and that will help you tell more powerful and authentic stories with unique footage. Now to get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, head over to storyblocks.com slash 
Premiere Basics or just click the link down below. Oh, and don't forget to download the awesome Premiere Pro and After Effects plugin. Now let's continue with our scary sky effect. It's time to color grade both the clips to make them match each other. Find telemetry color effect in the effect library and drag it on the city top view clip. Then in the effect controls, adjust the lightning to make it match your green screen clip. For me, this means increasing the exposure, but play around with the other controls as well. Maybe add a little contrast and also mess with the highlights and shadows. If you want, you can also go to the creative tab and decrease sharpen. That will just separate it a little. Now do the same thing on your green screen clip to make sure everything looks corrected. Next we're gonna separate the clips even more from each other. I don't like the camera blur so find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it on your clip. Then in the effect controls increase the blurriness until it looks natural. To finish it off we're gonna remove the tracking points from our green screen. Make sure the green screen clip is selected and head over to the toolbar. Then click the pen tool. Go to the composition panel and draw a mask around your feet and the grill. Now if it's needed, go to the timeline and expand the mask properties. Then click the mask pad stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now move a little forward in time and adjust the mask to hide the markers again. Keep doing that until you're at the end of the clip. This already looks amazing, but now we're gonna make it look a little bit more real. First by adding a camera shake. To do that, select all your clips in the timeline and hit Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose it. Then choose the second option. This will move all the attributes like effects, mask, transform properties into the composition. And now we have this fresh clip we can work with. First, expand the transform properties. Then hold down Alt and click the stopwatch icon next to the position property. Then in here, we're gonna type in wiggle 325 and then close it up. If you wanna know what this means, I created a small short on Instagram which will explain everything about it. This is actually creating a camera handheld effect. Now to get rid of the black bars, increase the scale just a little. Perfect. Next we're gonna make it look like we're blinking. With the pre-comp selected, click the pen tool again to create a mask. Then on your video, draw a mask in the shape of an eye. Great. Now in the timeline, increase the mask feather a lot. This will create this vignette effect. Feel free to adjust the mask after increasing the feather. Next, move a little back in time and set a mask path keyframe. Move further in time and adjust the mask just a little. Now move a little further again and make the mask close almost completely. Now move further in time again and open the eye again. Do this randomly, just do what feels natural and keep doing that a few times until you have this. Now if you want to top this effect off even more, find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it on the pre-comp, then expand the effect properties so we can animate them. Now in the timeline, go to the moment where your eye is about to close, then set a blur in this keyframe, move further and increase it. Then once your eye is open again, decrease the blurriness again. This looks absolutely beautiful. I am so happy that you guys are pushing me to create more After Effects tutorials. So that's definitely what I'm gonna do. If you wanna learn some more awesome effects, click the video right here on my left to continue the lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.